Imagine spending several hundreds, if not thousands, on insulating your home to be told you have to put holes in it to let cold air in. Or imagine building a new home to new energy efficient standards and again, the better it is, the more holes you are told to put in it. Well, this is exactly what people are being asked to do. So why? Let's explain. While we can't control the cost of fuel, we can control how much energy our buildings need. And the less energy our buildings need, the more people we lift out of fuel poverty, improve society and the environment. This common sense energy approach is what fundamentally drives increasing standards in new housing and national programmes for improving our housing stock. But as we rush to seal our homes from the cold, we should remember we have to live in them too. And live in them we do like never before. In fact, we spend up to 90% of our time indoors, where the indoor air quality can be many times worse than the air outside causing a range of problems, including respiratory illnesses. So we find ourselves in a dilemma, a bit of a tug of war, if you like, between closing up our homes to seal in the heat and opening them up to let fresh air in. Ventilation is basically the mechanism by which we do it. Take bad air out and let fresh air in. So what is bad air? Well, actually, it's mostly caused by us and the stuff we do. And other than ventilation for things like fires and boilers, it can be broken down into three main groups. Moisture. That's cooking, washing, drying and so on. The average family of four can produce 16 litres of moisture in a week. If the moisture is not dealt with, it condensates on cold surfaces causing mould which damages our home and proves an ideal environment for other nasties too. Great if you have asthma. Metabolism. That really is us. CO2 from breathing, which includes more moisture and, of course, odours. While odours are just unpleasant, too much CO2 for too long is not good for us, affecting concentration and causing fatigue, amongst other problems. VOCs. These are quite complicated and are basically chemicals that we don't really want about. The vast majority are okay, but some are very bad and we try not to have them in our houses in the first place, in paints and varnishes, etc. But we do have to mitigate the risk with good ventilation. Some pollutants, like moisture, are easier to spot. When we have a shower, for example, the problems it causes can also be very visible, mould, but others are less so. It's a bit like boiling a frog. <laughs> Bear with me. It would react to boiling water as you would imagine. But if you sit it in cold water, then warm it up slowly, it will sit there quite happily until, well... <laughs> Put it another way. Have you ever been into a teenager's bedroom? That's the indoor air quality equivalent of jumping into boiling water. The occupant, probably still asleep, seems quite happy there though. In short, we can be just terrible at recognising poor air quality, especially when it builds up around us slowly. In the context of a simple ventilation system, your humble hole in the wall, do we really expect to get up halfway through our TV programme and open it up a little, or close it before bed to control CO2? Of course not. What we tend to do is, the first time we feel cold air coming in, we shut it, and often leave it that way. And herein lies the rub. Until now, we mostly got away with it because, well, so much of the air that came into our buildings got there through leaks. But as we build more airtight homes or seal up our old ones, we rely more and more on ventilation. So when we close a vent, or switch a fan off because it's noisy, how else will the air get in? Are we slowly turning ourselves into frogs? To ignore or not integrate proper ventilation systems into our homes is simply leaving ourselves open to risks that shouldn't be acceptable. Although a hole in the wall has its limits, 
there are now many better alternatives. Proper, well thought out ventilation secures good indoor air quality and provides a comfortable and energy efficient environment for us all to enjoy our homes.